So we finally have a price point for AMD's upcoming Threadripper processors, and a lot of enthusiasts are gonna like this. So this particular article is from uh, The Verge, specifically their uh, Circuit Breaker articles. However, you'll see this news across the internet in multiple sources. Uh, but today, AMD announced that its Threadripper processors will launch with two models, a 12-core 24-thread model, which will be the 1920X, which will uh, launch at a price point of $800 with a base clock of 3.5 gigahertz and that boost clock going up to 4.0 gigahertz, presumably on one or two cores, not on on all the cores, uh, similar to the way we've seen Ryzen uh, handled. And then the top tier model will be the 1950X, which will have a base clock of 3.4 gigahertz and the same boost clock up to 4.0 gigahertz, assuming it's probably again on one or two cores, and that will be at a price tag of $1,000. Now, in addition to the price points of $800 and $1,000, the other side to this is that it is a completely new socket, uh, the TR4 socket that the Threadripper processors will sit on top top of and uh, that's gonna carry its own price tag as well and I did a video on what I think some of those announced x399 motherboards will cost you can click the uh, the card for that video however it is fairly safe to assume that there will be some x399 boards as low as sort of the upper 200s or low $300 range a uh, safe bet right now would be to just go ahead and square away $300 if you're planning on upgrading to the Threadripper platform uh, just square away $300 for that motherboard uh, and you should be set to go there. And to sort of further this point, um, the X299 boards from Intel, which support their latest enthusiast class processors, are priced anywhere from the 250 ish dollar range all the way up to around $500, like this Gigabyte Aorus X299 board. So there's a, still a wide variety of different boards with different feature sets that you can expect to see for X399, but hopefully there are some that are under that $300 price point. In addition, if you don't already have memory available to you, if you're completely upgrading or just building out a completely brand new system, you have to worry about DDR4 and collecting some of that memory. If you start at just 16 gigabytes, which I would say would be sort of the minimum standard for an enthusiast class uh, computer like this, although I have a feeling a lot of people will go for four sticks and get all the way up to 32 gigabytes to start out with. But if you do go with the 16 gigabyte route, you can get some uh, Corsair LPX for around the $130, $135 price point. Or if you're gonna go for a little bit of a flashier build, there's Trident Z uh, 3200 RAM available for about $165. And of course, if you keep your eyes peeled, you can find deals around the internet, whether it be on Amazon, Newegg, or even in some retail shops like uh, Micro Center or Fry's every now and then have a special where you can collect some fairly cheap RAM. So doing a little bit of simple math, if you spend $1,000 on a processor, about $300 on a motherboard, and another $150 or so dollars on RAM to get your system off the ground and running, you're looking at a platform cost of somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,450 for the top tier Threadripper processor. And then the 1920X will be a little bit cut down and save you a couple hundred dollars on that, but you're still looking at something like that sort of $1,200 range or somewhere in that area. So let me know in the comments down below if you plan on upgrading to Threadripper. Is that in the cards for you? And if you are, let me know what configuration you're looking to go for. You're gonna go for the top tier, the 16-core uh, 32 thread, or you're gonna go for the 12-core and 24 thread. And in addition, what's your RAM configuration gonna look like? So let me know in those comments down below. And as always, guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe. All those things help out the channel a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They're the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel around me for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.